Check, check, check. All right, excellent. All right, that was easy. All right, man, let's see what they talking about, man. This is my first one, watching one of these balloon pop videos, one of these 20v1s, whatever you want to call it. So we gonna jump into this and see, man. I'm curious to see where these women's heads is at, where the fellas' heads is at, you know? I think we're in a very interesting place, a definitely a very interesting year when it comes to dating, um, you know, when it comes to standards, when it comes to what everybody looks for in a male and a female. And I think a lot of it is actually blurred now, too. There's a lot of men that want to be treated like women. There's a lot of women that want that act and want to be treated like men, you know, and it's it's all over the place. And, you know, you'll see firsthand where everybody's heads are at. And no, it's just very interesting, man. It's very interesting. The older women, the younger women, the, everybody in between, like, it's interesting where everybody's heads is at in 2024. So, MJ was good, Mixeline. The shoot was excellent. The shoot was excellent. So, yes. But yeah, we finna check this. Um, let me throw these on because I'm tired and I'm looking a little smack of me. But yeah, what's the word, Mix? No battles right now. We should be talking about... Yeah, listen. I'm going to get a podcast going soon. Well, two things. One, we need to make some content in general. Like, we need to start spamming content. OD, like, we got to just get together and just do anything. And I just got to record it and start cutting it up uh, also. But I want to get a podcast going for August. So I'm going to need you... And a couple of friends, bring a couple of shorties. I'm trying to do like a four men, four women, and then me as the host. And just different topics, different conversations. So that's something I have in mind. And I know I'll definitely probably have you there as one of the consistent women. But I'm going to do, you know, that's for August. But yeah, we have to get it in ASAP. I need to start spamming content. Like I said, I had a conversation with some peoples yesterday. And um I don't know, I just, it changed my perspective a lot. So, yeah, we got work to do uh, ASAP. ASAP, ASAP, ASAP. We got work to do. My fucking arm hurts. I'm so sore from that one time I went to the gym two days ago. God damn, my shit's hurt. But, all right, yeah, let me keep watching this video. We got this balloon pop. Let's go. I see yourself dating this guy. Go ahead and pop your balloon, and I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay, with that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first Remember single guy. Shipping, you just, you don't, you just, you pissing me off. You want some Hello, bullshit. welcome in. I'll have you hold this. How you doing, Alec? Good, focus. good. How are you? Can I'm we get great. your name? My name is Brian. Brian, how old are you? I'm 40. 40 I'll and be 41 in September. Okay, it's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, what do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic Very for cool. a major airline. All right. So now, I fix planes. Mm -hmm. I want you to get home safe. <laughs> we appreciate you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things that you uh, like to do for fun? Things I like to do for fun? Okay. Um, I like trail riding. Mm. I live in Houston. Okay. I'm from New Orleans, but I like to ride horses. I'm a country, country guy, okay? okay? I'm still city, but, you know, I like to do country things. Uh, I like to read. Um, I'm from the ghetto. <laughs> That's how you know they're interested when they all start. Listen, when a shorty start fixing her hair around you randomly, that's how you know she's interested. That's how you know she's paying attention. Look at all of them start fixing their hair. The ride horses. In unison, subconsciously. I'm a country, country guy. Okay, I'm still city, but you know I like to do One, country things. Two, uh, I like to read. Three. Um, hair ain't I'm from the, the ghetto, time. but I am a nerd. Come on. Okay, I like to read. I want to know about things that I don't know. Okay, um, I like to go lounges, right? I like to go to museums. You know, I just like to really um, have a good time. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. Now, what are some things that you're looking for in a woman? Transparency. Mm. You're talking too much. Mm. For sure. Transparency. Okay. If I can't see who you are when I meet you, then I would never know, mm. right? Uh, loyalty, that, that, that really, um, for men, that's a big thing, loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to know when you out partying, having a good time, that you 
loyalty and you faithful mm. to a man like me. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers? Um, I really don't have deal breakers, right? Because I'm from the ghetto. So I understand that, you know, we do a lot of things in our past and in our youth that uh, is really a problem. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have any deal breakers. But as far as deal breakers, I don't really have any. Okay. All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over to those oh, ladies, no. see why they ended up popping. No problem. All right. Let's start right on over here. Jeez, the one with the orange is the one you need to focus on anyway. But, uh, that's one thing I can't stand is when people say, oh, what do you look for in a, in a person? Loyalty. Like, yo, no shit. You want your person to be loyal. Oh, uh, like, fucking respect. Uh, care, care, like, you say shit that the person is supposed to have that you're supposed to get with. Like, so the fact that you're, that's your first thought lets you know the type of people that you've been with, the type of people that you go after that you have to literally search for the bare minimum in these people and when they show you that, that's when you feel respected. When in reality, the person you're talking to should be loyal, respectful, caring, you know, X, Y, and Z. Like, people say the most bare minimum basic shit that is required for a relationship. So like, that's how you know off the jump, people don't even really know what they're looking for in a person. They don't even know what they're looking for. If we can have your name and age. I'm watching, um, I'm watching the balloon pop video. Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. Okay. I'm 39. You need to follow yeah. ASAP. You said you're 39? 39. 39. All right. And Mrs. Parker, what do you do? I'm a professional makeup artist. A makeup artist? Yeah, shout out to makeup by Mrs. Parker. <laughs> All right, and Mrs. Why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped your balloon because you said you don't have any deal breakers, and everybody has to have some type of deal breaker, so you have to have something that you don't like. But you look really nice. You look dapper. Nice to meet you. It's definitely nice to meet you. Uh, when it comes to deal breakers, I'm not a surface level dating type of guy, right? Okay. I don't really care about your past. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from New Orleans, right? So nothing that you've done in your past doesn't matter to me because that was before me. After me, that's when you upgrade yourself. So that's why I said I don't have any deal breakers because I don't want to say that, hey, you know, you know, you're, you're not my type because of what you've done in your past, not knowing that that wasn't right or wrong. Okay, so that's why. Respect. Mm -hmm. And now, um, is Mrs. someone that is your type? She de definitely. She got this cowgirl going on. I'm from the <laughs> South, right? You know, so I like your outfit. I like what you got going on, definitely. Thank you. All right, let's go to our next lady over here. If we can have oh, your name and age. Oh, hi. Uh, not having any deal breakers is interesting. Not having any deal breakers. I definitely have deal breakers. It depends on how many dudes you didn't talk to. Yo, like when a shorty say, oh, I was just living my best life or I was just doing me, get out of there. That means she went on a rampage for a certain amount of time. Um, they don't like to go on vacation. They don't count nothing on vacation. They don't count nothing that's protected. They don't count nothing that wasn't good to them they don't count nothing that they don't want to you get what i'm saying so when i tell you if a shorty get to talking and yeah i was just doing my thing and whoop de whoop yeah you're done you done talked yourself <laughs> you done talked yourself into the grave you know and you got to pay attention to the little the little cues and shit like that you know that they try to like throw in there when they done did something or do she got a tattoo on the side of her face or is that her hair I'm Tracy and I'm 37. I'm from New Orleans as well and mm -hmm. I live in a DMV. Mm -hmm. um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is because I am from New Orleans and just the energy I just wasn't vibing with. Like, I think you're super cool. I love the way that you look. But as far as like energy, I feel like I've dated guys from New Orleans before and they just did not work out for me. So I think because we come from the same place, it just clashes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So since we come from the same place, it clashes? Yeah. You know, I, I, I just haven't had really good relationship experiences mm, dating you, people from my hometown. You never met Brian. <laughs> you never met Brian. Maybe. But today that you. And that's the thing right there, bro. Listen to what she just said. And again, this is your problem. Oh, I dated people like so you already are taking all of your past experiences, putting them onto this guy and then looking at him and saying, yeah, all of them niggas fucked up. I'm cool off of you. Because all of them niggas fucked up. You get, like, you guys don't even have a ch off the jump. 
like 50% of men don't even have a chance because of shit like this. The, the, the logic doesn't even make sense. But you, 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 you claim, oh, I don't want to... I don't want to meet a guy on social media. So how are you going to meet somebody? You don't talk to nobody where you're from. You don't meet you don't want to talk to somebody you met on the internet. How are you supposed to meet some Oh, when you're on the when you're when you're like at the I don't even know. Like where how are you supposed to meet somebody? How do how do you Yo, bro, I don't know, bro. Yeah, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I and today know. definitely you was a winner, but uh, you Maybe know, I'm the fact you. that you're from New Orleans, I respect Maybe that I'm because you. I respect my home and I'm prideful on being a Louisiana animal, right? Mm -hmm. And I definitely was feeling you, but thank you. You know, since you popped on me, handsome. we don't really dig with rejection too well. We respect that, mm -hmm. you know, but we move on. Okay. So then nice Tracy, to meet you. Tracy, we actually didn't get, what do you do? Um, so I work in management. Okay. So the person that I kind of link with, we can kind of go into further of by my career, yeah. What industry, what management? What the person that you link with, you want to go further into your career? What? What do you do? Um, so I work in management. Okay. So the person that I kind of link with, we can kind of go into further of by my career. Yeah. What industry? What management? What industry? Um, I wouldn't like to say. Yeah, I would like to discuss that with the person that I match with. I think that's a little more in depth. OK, mm -hmm. you're looking good today. I love the orange. <laughs> yeah, she she does. She because she's a manager probably has some bullshit. <laughs> Definitely. Let's go to our next lady here. We can have your name and age. Um, my name is Chanel Kitt, and I am originally from Gary, Indiana. I live here in Phoenix, Arizona. Um, Coco Stiletto on Instagram. I have my own business. I'm a consultant, business consultant, and I also create trivia games that I sell on Amazon. Okay, and I'm sorry, we didn't get your age. I am 42. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is it's pretty much, and you have already answered. Um, you didn't have any deal breakers. Um, I need someone that knows what he wants. Um, I can be a handful sometimes as well, so, and, and it can be anything. So it's got to be something that makes you tick, that you can be honest about. So that's why I popped my balloon. And you kind of remind me of my nephew, just kind of. It's this sweet. Okay. Kind of remind you of my nephew? Okay. Um, so you said the deal breakers. I feel like that, that last part wasn't, wasn't necessary. Um, and I feel like that's like a, I don't know. It's like a, just like a shot in front of the women trying to be funny. You know what I'm saying? Like that wasn't necessary. You remind me of my nephew. Like now you're trying to downplay him to, to you're comparing him to a nephew. You know what I'm saying? You trying to take away his mitt. Like, I don't like that, bro. You, I don't like that. And now you try to laugh about it. And like, that shit ain't. Now, if I would have said you looking like a rough 42, she would, you know what I'm saying? If I would have said, damn. Oh, yeah, now that would have been a problem though, but you try to get your little joke in there and you know what I mean? It's, it's shit cool, like, that shit. Pop my man. balloon. And that you kind of remind me of my nephew, just mm -hmm. kind of. It's just me. Okay. Kind of remind you of my nephew? Okay. Um, so you said like, the deal breakers. You, you smiling at, I don't get it. Like, you see, like, she's trying to get a reaction out of the nigga, like. Because I don't have a deal breaker? Correct. Okay, well, I can have a clean. I need, I need a man to tell me something. Tell me what he want and don't want. And, and, and you that can't will, tell me that. And, and I might jump all over you. <laughs> and that will come, definitely. I will definitely tell you where you're going wrong at. Mm -hmm. But as far as a deal breaker, um, I have a clean slate with everybody. I'm the type to trust you before I not trust you. I'm going to give you that grace before I don't give you that grace, right? But I respect how you feel. I like that response. Mm -hmm. <laughs> might circle back, but. Oh. You might go get back? Mike. You want your balloon back? Do, do you Not want yet. that balloon back? Oh, Not wait. yet. Okay. <laughs> you got the gift of gab, I see. So we're just going <laughs> to. I got the gift of gab. Let's go on it's transparency, next, love. <laughs> okay, if we can start off with your name and age. Hi, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Hello, Janae. And Janae, what do you do? I'm in school for fashion design. I'm an office assistant, and I'm a new entrepreneur. Just about to launch my fitness clothing line called We Fit. <laughs> Okay, and why did you end up popping your balloon for Brian? There, hey, Brian, I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. I don't like the pants too tight. I'm kind of ghetto, too, so I like them a little loose, and um, that was just it for me. Okay. How old are you? 34. You're 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids do you got? I got three. You got three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies.
and you're worried and you're rejecting a nigga because his pants are a little tighter than you like. But you have three baby fathers with three. Whoa, bro. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Holy shit. That just blew my mind. And you think you're in the position to reject niggas? You think you're in the position to reject niggas? When you got three kids with three different niggas? Well, you know what? Maybe you are. Because you had a kid with one guy. Then the next man said, you know what? I'm still going to get with you and have a kid with That's two. Then the third, the third man said, yo, you got two kids with two dudes. I'm going to look past that, still get with you, give you a chance. And now be the third with the third. Hey, yo, if somebody becomes the fourth with the fourth, I am going to forfeit everything I own and all of this, and I'm just going to quit everything. Because what the... F what? And you going to say, oh, because your pants? I think... I'm, I'm done. I'm fucking. <laughs> I'm fucking done, son. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I got three. You got three? I'm How done. many baby daddies? I have three. You got three baby daddies. Okay. I should have said zero. Because mm -hmm. it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? No. I have three, but it's just me. I'm going to say. Oh, my God. That's the shit that pisses me off. I should have said zero. You see, she completely tries to dismiss the fact that she had three kids with three different men. And she has the audacity to say, I should have said zero baby fathers because it's just me by myself. Yo, is this actually happening right? Like, is this real? Is she dead ass? Is she dead ass? Because it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? No. Yo, she I probably thought she killed shit with that. She probably thought she killed shit with that. Oh, I should have said zero because it's just me. No, you said the right answer. I got three kids with three different niggas. What the fuck? Now, it's just you, so you had three kids with three niggas that don't do shit for you. So you pick, look, think of the three type of niggas you just picked. And you think... Yo, bro, what? Because at least if you pick solid niggas, you'd be getting the child support. They would be taking the kids. You know, she wouldn't have said, oh, because it's just me. Nah, that you would have probably had, you know, help. So the fact that you're not getting help lets me know the type of dudes that you chose. And you wonder why you're now single with three. Yo, nah, bro. And this is these are the answers that you're giving. This is your response. You don't pick a nigga because it's pants. All right. You got three? All right. How many baby daddies? All right. I have three. You gonna lie Done. to the public? No, I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. Okay. There's no man in my life. Okay. No man in your life? Nope. Why is the reason boys. for there no man in your life? Uh, well, my first child, his father passed away, and the other two are nowhere to be found. So what can you do? They do you like that? What's wrong with them? <laughs> something. Mm. <laughs> Only God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? Possibly. But I think I'm just... Possibly. <laughs> Accountability. Accountability. Yo, bro, I'm not trying to get oh, amped right now, but holy shit, my mind is blown, bro. Or oh, is there something wrong? Do you like that? What's my wrong with you? My mind is blown, bro. Something. <laughs> Only God knows. Or oh, is there something wrong what? with you? Possibly. But I think I'm just fine. I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right. But to say that a 41-year-old man is disqualified because of his pants... You're 41? I'll be 41 in September. Okay, because I was like, I thought you said 40. I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's, I like it. It's okay for you. It's not my style. Mm. You know, with everything going on, I like the pants to be a little baggy. That's all. Where are you from, love? Kansas City. Kansas City? Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's go out over here. If we can have your name and age. I am Venusian, 39. And uh, you said Venusian? Mm -hmm. And what do you do? Oh, that's a cold ass I'm a name. TikTok creator manager. 
Cool. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I'm a free-spirited woman, so having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I pop my balloon. What do you mean, check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in, that's something that I don't subscribe to, so that's why I pop my balloon. Okay. What do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. TikTok creator manager? For what company? Or is it for yourself? (laughs) It's for TikTok. For TikTok? Social media. Okay, social media? Social media agent, yes. Okay, how many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Okay. Okay. I was just asking because for real men, that's what matters. Mm -hmm. Your first one is given. Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, there's that's definitely right. under why I got married. That's pregnant, definitely but right. That's nor here or there, and that's yeah, not bef- what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. But I respect your answer. Thank you. Let's go back here. Okay, if we can start off with your name and age. I'm Shay, and I'm 37. How you doing, Shay? I'm doing amazing. Shay, uh, what do you do? Um, so I work for the county. And I have my own hair business and a few other little small businesses. Okay. All right. And uh, why did you end up popping your balloon? So originally I was feeling it. I, I, I like, a, I don't want to say a bad boy, but I like somebody that's outspoken. But mm-hmm. the question of, I feel like you're challenging the women. Oh, how many baby daddies you got? And then, you know, it's it just, that's, it, does that matter? You say future. So that's they pass. Does that matter? Does that matter? Me asking a woman how many kids she has and how many baby fathers she has. You're gonna sit here and try to tell me that does not matter. Yo, what am I missing right now? Am I going wrong? Like, what if... Yo, I don't know, bro. Yes, it's not baby future. How many uh, kids do you have? I have one daughter, she's 19. Do you want more? I do. My balloon still pop because I don't want any more. Okay. You don't want any more? Not at all. I have you a, can't I have, have any more? You, you, no, you I'm choose not I to choose have not any more. I have an okay. uh, almost 14-year-old. In- okay. Yeah. Well, the reason for me asking their past about the baby daddies because it lets me know where they're going in their future. If you didn't, didn't want to have a baby daddy for the second time, then that lets me know that you was uncareful of what you're dealing with. Do you necessarily okay. believe that somebody's past is they past that don't determine their future? Not, because not, I mean, I can look at you and say, say like you, you, you made, people make mistakes and it could happen. I, not, I feel like- Nah, nah, having a kid is not a mistake. People make mistakes. Having a kid is not a mistake. If you're trying to call procreation, I think that's what the word is, a mistake, you're just running from, and again, this is my favorite word, accountability. We just, women refuse to take accountability for their actions. You had a kid with a man and you still refuse to like thoroughly accept that you chose a bad dude throughout the whole time. And like, you still made a conscious decision through all of that. And you still can't even accept that shit, bro. That shit cracks my head. Do you necessarily that believe that somebody's past is they past that don't determine their future? Not, because, not, I mean, I can look at you and say, say, like, you, you, you make people make head, mistakes. Bro. And it could happen. I, I feel like once or twice, okay, some things become a choice. But no, no, no. When it comes to w- once, nah. is a mistake. Twice, that's on you. Okay, so then say, like, you get into a relationship with somebody, you get married, and things don't work. So then I guess you made a mistake? Yes. Or, and then, so you, because how did you get married with a nigga and then it stopped working? Yes, that's so your fault. Thinking in twice is, I don't believe in that because I believe things happen. Sweetheart, twice is on you. Okay. You well, should have learned from that very no, first mistake. It, okay. And not saying that. Look, she's literally shaking her head. Like she's refusing. She's refusing to even listen. She's talking over the nigga. And again, just refusing to acknowledge the fact that she chose a bad man. This is, I don't believe in that because I believe I don't believe things. in that. That's fine. And that's why you single. That's why, you know. Happy. Sweetheart, twice is on you. Okay. You well, should have learned from that very no, first mistake. It, it, 
okay? Lessons are and to not be saying that your child is a mistake, right? Mm -hmm. Of course But the not. fact that you chose the wrong man to have kids with, and secondly, not to have a marriage after the next one mm -hmm. or before marriage the next one. Marriage doesn't determine, and I'm, I'm a person that wants to be married, but marriage don't determine anything. I've known people to be married for a long time, and it don't work out, baby. So, okay. yeah, you are, no, honey, buddy. Okay. You, you no. Again, the fact that you're having, you see, yo, bro, she's, holy shit. The fact that you're choosing to have a kid before you get married, and you're going to sit here and try to say, oh, what? You're like, no, you're having a kid before you get married, and you're going to sit here and still try to refuse to take accountability for that. You're going to refuse man to have kids oh. with and secondly not to have a marriage after right. the next one or before marriage the next one determine and I'm, I'm a person that wants to be married but marriage don't determine anything i've known people to be married for a long time do you think if you would have made the com like you had a kid before you got married you don't think having a child is a bigger commitment than marriage marriage ain't nothing but paperwork a child is an entire being that's life altering that you have to care for for the rest of your life you don't think a child is a bigger decision than marriage and you're gonna sit here and say no yo you're shot like you're literally cooked you're determined cooked. and I'm, I'm a person that wants to be married but marriage don't determine you're anything cooked. i don't know people to be married for a long time and it don't work out baby so okay. yeah you are no honey buddy, okay you're, you're too aggressive now no problem oh, well you know uh, the aggressiveness that comes from a southern man uh, right baby, let me explain and we stand too. on what we talking Our about come from texas so mm. Okay, I'm from no. New Orleans. Okay, so you, you know what I mean. South, so the when you, the South, like Brian, I Brian, let's move okay. on. Let's move on. Let's no move problem. On. Have a good day, love. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Shay, and I'm 37. And Shay, what do you Hello, do? Hello, Shay. I am an insurance adjuster, and I'm just waiting to take my real estate license. Very nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Just based off of the energy, I didn't want to pop it too soon. I like to fill you out first, but just based off of the energy and the conversations that were had between the women, and just overall, that's it. Okay. So you a follower? No. I just, I went out, that's why I said I didn't pop it right away. I wanted to see for myself. Okay, so you didn't like just, my responses and the women that, that I responded to? You didn't like the responses? Just the energy from it. Mm. Yeah. What does that the, the energy is too strong for you, huh? Not necessarily too strong. I just just didn't too much care for it that's understandable i respect that though thank you because he's not a because he's not a pushover and he's not letting them you know what I'm saying? if we can and have he, your he's gonna question them he's gonna challenge them and that's what they don't like they don't like being challenged or name and age they don't like davinia and i'm 41 and davinia what do you do i'm a compliance analyst for a payment processing company okay and why did you end up popping your balloon um, I popped my balloon. I was waiting because I was trying to feel the energy, the vibe, the connection, chemistry, and I believe he was speaking very well. I was trying to feel the connection, the vibe that you didn't even talk to the nigga yet. How are you trying to feel the chemistry if you haven't even spoke to buddy? Do you know they just be talking out the ass, bro? <laughs> Um, I popped my balloon. I was waiting because Tell I was trying to feel the energy, the vibe, the connection, chemistry. And I believe he was speaking very well, very suave, handsome gentleman. So I was trying to give it some time. But then it started to feel like an attack. Mm -hmm. And I, don't, I didn't like or agree with the attack. Mm -hmm. So that was why I popped my balloon. Okay. So you say it felt like an attack. Can you elaborate on that? Um, you don't judge people from their past or you like to start off with a clean slate mm. um i don't think that if a relationship works out for a woman and it happens to be her second kids her second baby daddy per se um i don't think that's her fault so if she decides to stay i give up i fucking give up i give up holy shit i give up I give up. I give up. I give up. Yo, the fact that we're backing a woman having multiple baby fathers and still not letting, like, not making them take accountability for it, I've officially lost hope. I've officially lost hope. I've officially lost hope. And marry the man, I've like Brian I've, says. I've then, hope. so if she decides to stay and marry the man, like Brian says, then that means she's settling. And I don't agree with a woman. Having, um, I don't think that's her fault. 
So if she decides to stay and marry the man, like Brian says, then that means she's settling. And I don't agree with a woman having to settle just because the opinions of others thinking that, you know, it's going to be her fault. It's her fault because it didn't work out. No. Okay. Because people, they start off with different the fuck personas. What is you doing back there? No. Okay. Because people, they start off. You 42 talking about period. Like, this is why y'all all standing up there single now. Because y'all really are so disconnected from the reality of this shit. Of what men look for. You guys try to dictate what men judge you by. You're trying to say, oh, she shouldn't be judged by having multiple kids. She shouldn't be judged by having multiple baby fathers. Her past doesn't d determine her future. You don't think somebody's past... If you got with two dudes and had two kids with them and they both dipped on you, you think I'm 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 supposed to cater to you now and them two dudes and and I'm and they just they just they just they just left you with a, with a little yeah, little little kid and I'm supposed to and we're just going to say oh that's not our fault. That's not our fault. That's not my fault. I let two dudes do that. It's not my fault, but you should come take care of these kids. And you should have money, and you should be tall, and you should be funny, and you should look good, and you should work out, and you should make a hundred thousand a year, and you should be all of these things. After two dudes done did you, and left you, and 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 all right, bro, all right, all right. Her fault. It's her fault because right, it didn't bro. work out. No. Okay. All right, bro. Because right. people, they start off with different personas, and right, then you bro. slowly kind of learn who they really are. So if you just so you have a kid with somebody before you learn who they are. That's what I'm talking, like, what are you talking about right now? You're having kids with people before you're getting married to them. What do you think is a bigger commitment? Having a kid or getting married? Which one is going to change your life more? You let me know. And then sit here and try to make that shit a valid, that shit's bullshit, bro. Y'all just, y'all, yo, y'all cooked, bro. Away because cooked. that situation isn't healthy. And these are the older, these are the old heads. The old heads are fried, bro. The old heads are fried, bro. For you, that doesn't fried. mean that it's your fault that it didn't work out. Fried. Okay. okay. So okay, there's up? four billion women on the planet. Mm -hmm. I'm a black American from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. I have the choice to, to, to have the pick of the litter. Mm -hmm. So why would I pick you if you have multiple baby daddies? Well, don't pick me. Mm. Right. Yeah. And you I understand have the choice. that. You have the choice. We all I have, have the, a choice. I have the choice, but yeah. you're judging me on the fact that I have the choice. No, I'm not judging you. you that just, just means that I'm not Ooh. for you. If you're going to judge me because my second baby daddy didn't work out for me, then I'm not for you. You know, so I'm not judging and you and your that. opinion how many kids and your you preference. Have? I have three. You have 25, three? 18, and 12. Okay. How many baby daddies? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there's no... If so she feels attacked and I'm going to, I'm just going to, because she knew she didn't have a chance. There's no disrespect towards that, she right? Knew, she's judging him off the fact that he was going to judge her for having multiple baby fathers. Are we, do we just, we're just never going to take accountability, I guess, for anything we did in our past, right? Never. We're just going to act like nothing ever happened, bro. Yeah, but I just okay. want you to understand when it comes to a man of top tier, right? We give you a few from one man. Mm -hmm. That's it. If you have multiple from a different man, mm -hmm. that, that, that disqualifies yourself. So it disqualifies a top tier woman from getting a top That's tier That's exactly man. right. Why? Yes. Because there's yes. billions of women on this planet. Okay. Yes. All right? Yes. There's billions of women on this planet. So why would I pick one that already had multiple men and multiple kids when there's women out here that have, have no kids and maybe one or two relationships in their entire life, haven't been married or any of that? Why would I pick one that already was through the ringer, already had, took away that first experience of having that first kid with some, all of those things are gone. And I'm supposed to sit here and, 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 and just, just uh, eliminate all of those things and say, oh yeah, yo, you're crazy, bro. You're crazy, bro. Okay. Okay. Well, Brian, that is all the balloons popped. No problem. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. All right. Take this. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Have a good day. Like you're you fucking goofy. You can't even be respectful enough to clap. Like that's that shit. Like yeah, that shit's so fucking disrespectful. Now, if he would have turned around and been like, "All right, fuck you to everybody who didn't clap," would he have been the bad guy? No. That shit's disrespectful, yo. That shit's so disrespectful, yo. That shit corny. All of them women was corny and old.
It's like, nah, let me stop. Hey, yo, smash that sub button. Welcome to the family, you heard? I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.